KPX 5 News at 6 starts right now with a woman going public after surviving a high profile sexual assault at Stanford. The victim, who has been known as Emily Doe for years following the attack, is now stepping out from the shadows and reclaiming her identity. KPX 5's Lender Ramirez introduces us to Chanel Miller. Well, until now, no one knew her name, but Chanel Miller has had a lasting impact on this campus. There's a permanent memorial to what happened to her here. Plus, her case has helped shape policy on this campus and far beyond. You don't know me, but you've been inside me. For the first time, Chanel Miller stepped in front of the cameras, revealing her identity and new details of her ordeal in her memoir entitled Know My Name. In this clip from her appearance on 60 Minutes, Miller reads from her victim statement that had a profound impact on her attacker, Brock Turner, and the judge in her case, Aaron Persky. I had to force myself to relearn my real name, my identity, to relearn that this is not all that I am that I am not just a drunk victim at a frat party found behind a dumpster, while you are the all-American swimmer at a top university. Today, the dumpsters have been moved away and a memorial garden and fountain mark the spot where Turner assaulted Miller before passersby came to her aid. The case sparked outrage and a successful recall effort against Judge Persky after he gave Turner a six-month sentence. Michelle Dauber led the recall effort. I think that whether to come out publicly is a difficult choice. She says Miller's story will have a positive impact for women in the courts, colleges, and beyond. People will read her book because she is an outstanding writer, and they will understand that this is not, you know, limited just to Brock Turner. This is an epidemic, and it has to be treated um, better by our institutions. Today, Stanford put out the following statement, quote, we applaud Ms. Miller's bravery in talking publicly about the ordeal she has experienced and the horrible act that she suffered on our campus. As a university, we are continuing our efforts to prevent and respond effectively to sexual violence with the ultimate goal of eradicating it from our community. On 60 Minutes, Miller chokes up, perhaps indicating that she is still paying an emotional price for her ordeal. You cannot give me, you cannot give me back the life I had. At Stanford, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5. As for Brock Turner, a judge rejected his attempt to appeal his conviction last year. Turner is required to register as a sex offender in his home state of Ohio, where he now lives.